like, share, and subscribe to the Horny Channel. And hit the notification bell. Or IG me at the Horny Church or the Horny Pastor Music. Straight up. This here situation. New developments within the situation between Ninja Man and Pretty Dawn. <laughs> Very crazy. We have to get into it though. We're gonna find this particular video right now and um, see where we can start off this situation and see if we can trash it out. Big up to brother Brando who draw my attention and say, Pastor, we need to hear from you on this one because it has been a very serious violation. Wait a little bit. I gotta, yes, let me get this hit the right cue. Where does it starts? But needed nurturing. Wait, wait, saying the following. Wait, okay. Let it be known that this is not necessarily. Okay, we have the letter ready. Letter from Ninja Man defending Tarlop and every other person that Pretty Don has ever violated verbally. And I need a comment, a couple of comments to say, what do you think of Pretty Dan and um, her endeavors? Let's, let's listen now, let's listen. Be part of a series of letters that is intended to inspire, but a one-off, as I have been taken off course to address a particular situation. Sometimes the devil inserts itself into things to divert you from the work assigned to you by a Quite greater so. force, trying to put obstacles in your way because, as we all know, even he, the devil, has his army at work, and therefore we have to confront them. Ninja Man sounding quite intelligent. He must have been on some course or something in Sakasarate. He did not waste in time. He did some literature studies and some English language and some dictation and punctuation and all these things in incarceration. Um, head on. Yes, it's no secret that I'm locked up. I was on the cell block when an officer informed me of the disrespect that was directed toward me from this so-called blogger. Huh. It's a very lawful letter as well, you know. Because he didn't see it on a phone that he might allegedly have. He saw it from a prison officer. Quite well put together that part of the sitting car. You don't know. You know, a lot of you have no form of device where you can sit on, right? So it must have been a prison officer who draw your attention to this situation, I'm sure. And though I am trying incessantly to stay in a positive state of mind, had no intention of putting myself in a position to have a confrontation of any kind, I must address this issue. I will not give this person the pleasure of a mention by name. Hmm. So, disrespect. Uh, by the way, I have listened to this letter once before, you know, and there's a disrespect. If this was a lyrics, you know, the opponent dead. No care what the opponent forward with, this was to win. Matter of fact, if this was the lyrics and the opponent didn't forward with something as intelligent as this, then either there are a few points lose. But I'm sure everyone who saw this disrespect will know to whom it's directed. First, I would like to address the Tarlop situation as it relates to dance art. Tarlop is a brand new talented young artist lady that is doing great stuff on the scene and um Hey, big up to Jojo Mac, you know. Queen Spice. Spice has always been my artist from the onset of her career, and I'm extremely proud that she's in the space that she's in. When she came into the business, I took her under my wings because I saw that she had something special that needed nurturing. I have played the part of protector on occasions and pitted her against seasoned superstars in order to bring her relevance and to get her into the running. It's a dancehall thing that people like this so-called blogger would not understand. However, I think Spice should have a clear understanding of that. I do not know whether or not this person is a representative of her brand, but if she is, my advice to Spice would be to alter that situation Im immediately. I totally think that as well. Uh, Spice, you need to sort something out. Knowing Spice, I expect that she will not 
she will be arrogant and ignorant and one of the words and say, I can't tell nobody what to say about me. Yeah. Yeah. If it's in defense of her, she will say that. And if it was somebody who was trying to cuss her, she would be so outrageous. So I expect not to hear anything from Spice in this situation. Because it is not a good look for her. People like those are weak links that do not enhance but diminish. It's like plastering mud on a pure white suit. Oh Spice, my God. you're better than that. If you need a representative and she's indeed one, please find someone with class and a healthy state of mind to represent you. That's definitely true. Um, um, we know that we can't tell, we cannot dictate what people say, but you know if I if Spice should say forward um. Please stop representing me because you are drawing my name in mix-up and you are disrespecting the elders, them in the music industry. People who have done great, accomplished great, made a lot of people, make a lot of great waves and moves in life and you haven't done anything and just come up and running off your mouth and disrespecting people. And um, I must say that some form of disrespect must have been led towards her pretty than her or him for her him to have responded in this manner as course it's not just that people elders are expected to say what they want about younger people and not expect to have a response or a Sometimes, you know what I mean? The younger generation really gone, you know, you can't expect nothing respectful from them really and truly. So if when a year be a disrespect come from pretty than, you have to just know, say, you go with the territory. So young people, them still, they don't really have no manners and if the elders, them don't have no manners to them neither. It's going to be a double no manners situation. This person described tall up in the worst way. She's no different than when Spice was coming after Cecile. And I tell you, you know, sometimes I'm on the TikTok going viral all over the place because of some of the stuff they want to say and the woman them come out and say me eat woman. And me keep telling them say, uno eat woman. If, if uno say me eat woman, uno ungla chat because me never bring down no woman yet and me say uno bring down each other every single time. Right now, if I cut it out, ladies, you know, too quick to fight down each other and you know, say woman power and this and that and the next. You know, if you start being more supportive of each other and start draw down each other and when, when one says something about the other, what you know, need to do is look into you know, self in a real life and see if you know, can fix the problem and stop just cuss, 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 cuss. Alright, far with the ninja man. Because I'm going to really find... Alright, shut, shut up a little bit. And the other dancehall artists that we pushed her up against. She has evolved and become more attractive with money as she grew in her career. The same for all oh, other artists out God. there because none of them came into the game rich. But what I do not understand is why this person feel the need to come at Tallop. Because even at Tallop's worst, your best cannot compete. Oh my God! Because we saw Pretty Dan try to be in a clash the other day and um, it wasn't anything pretty so we know so she's not a good artist she's a good cussing person and i guess everybody have them role in life however pretty than i i personally can't tell you what to do neither but i feel so you have all of the reverence towards the legend them and the veteran them in this you know what i mean me not tell them say them have a heart if you disrespect you and you not do nothing about it but on a zero to hundred every single time. I think I think if the elders them disrespect you, I think that is also bad. However, if the elders them reprimand you, the elders them see the road where you walk down and the avenue. And right now me realize the elders can't talk to youngers again. Cause youngers not take no talk. So as the elders them say something, the youngers them ready for whatever. Now, a 
as it relates to this person and by saying person i am being very generous as it relates to this person calling me all manner of names and speaking of me in such derogatory terms this is what i have to say you speak of my son being gay in the worst way but you are in the same lane that oh my god that he's moving in you are one and the same so when you speak of him you speak of yourself your disrespect of me which was very much unwarranted tells me that not only do you not have a good grasp of the english language but also that you are a product of your environment a bit a bit well well outrageous well outrageous i think Pretty, I da see. pretty dance, you just be a little bit, you know. And words are words. You are back. You know what say, yeah, man. To your backyard, a very sparse and dried up one at that. You know what but say. it also proves that you are not living better than I am living in a prison cell. Growing up. So it's pretty than their road and now live as better than how you live in a cell. Why? Now tell her if this was a lyrics. You didn't do one year where they did I want a year still where counteract that what I say and if you never up to scratch that the lyrics are bad no right it didn't brother ninja man write this in a real life I'm coordinate it I'm liar do it representative spokesperson now the only being that was banished to the backyard is the dog i feel sorry for your neighbors having to hear oh you consistently barking i know they pity you i had it in mind to tell you to act like a lady but that boy uh, the lyrics said yeah, the lyrics are yeah, people the lyrics are yeah, with it oh, oh. The person voice that you hear speaking is a reporting lady called Jojo Mack. She's well renowned for doing all these things. Sometimes you might hear her on CityLockRadio.com. She do a program on Mr. Speng's program at daytime. She do some form of news reading. Very good to see that she's taking over the world even with this post. Jojo Mack, big up yourself my dear sister. Continue doing the wonderful work that you are doing sister. You have the voice for it and the and the pizzazz and the attitude and the and the presentation skills and just listen to her and Google Jojo Mack. That would be disrespecting other ladies. Uh -uh. You yourself cannot decide what you are. You were born confused. I can't say that God made you confused because it's obvious you are not a product of God. You are a product oh of the devil. Oh my God! Oh no! But as bad as the devil is, he was smart enough to make you in such a way that you could not reproduce. After this mm, letter i expect the worst to be said about ninja man from pretty Dan. this letter will always be listened to as long as life exists on this earth people are always going to go forward onto youtube to listen to jojo max voice when she reads the words that people say Ninja Man didn't write himself. Read these words or to listen to these words and to hear all these things them. And all the intelligent stylings that Evangelist Ninja Man, Brother Desmond, Italian or pretty than in the most intelligent way we have ever heard it done from Ninja Man or maybe even from any one of us. So this is really great stuff right here. I'm telling you. This is really great stuff. Whoever is it, if it's not Ninja Man orchestrate every last word of this um letter. Whoever is the author of this letter, if 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 somebody assists Ninja Man or 
anybody, if Ninja Man is responsible for this letter, or whoever, then should I go down in our history? Yes. And the little man. More time people are here listen to my vlog them to the middle part in a car. Me not really get warm. Cause talking is my profession. Because the world do not need a second you. I understand you are angry at the world because you can't claim a specific identity. And it must be disconcerting having to live in a body that does not function as normal human beings do. Pretty done. People. Me don't know if me I jump the gun. But me don't want to hear pretty done respond. Jesus Christ. No, sir. I what kind of letter this, man? Eh? What kind of letter this? But the devil was very perceptive as well. So even then... He knew that you were not going to have much purpose. Bombo Clata, who? No, man. No, man. Who write this, man? This one a second review, man. This is a hottest thing right here now, man. Who write this, man? So we made you into a freak of nature. Bombo Clata. Curse all you like. Tell me about what I should do to my mother. Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. You see words, let me tell you something about words. You see men, men, was, men wasn't get, men wasn't meant to be hurt by words. Men get hurt by big stone, big board cross face, thumping a eye, bullet. Them sitting there men get hurt by. But like how pretty than is half man, half woman. She can take some of them blow ya. But the woman part of her, because woman get really, just, um, just watch when woman trace by Instagram or in her real life. Words hurt them like crazy. Then we shut up if I said something wrong, you know. Then we run, go hide, you know. Yeah, it's like a clash. And one lose. But me I tell you, them words, yeah. If you, if, if you carve out one, then sit there, them words have to go up on like the Ten Commandments, like a tablet, and carve and put out in the wilderness and make 50,000 years from now. It's peace people and go find them words, yeah. All you like, call me ugly, all you like. But one thing you cannot say is that you are a better man than I am. Oh, oh my God. God. Eh? Wait there. Oh, my God. Wait there. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, my God. Normal. This no normal people. This is not normal. I may be in prison physically, but my mind is free. You, my dear, is in a mental prison, fighting demons at every turn. Mm -mm. It's those demons that cause you to lash out at everyone the way you do. You are the only blogger. Sorry, I can't call you a blogger, because that's not what bloggers do. And that would be a disrespect to real bloggers. You are a degenerate. Degenerate Me bumbo clad. Who cannot control your emotions That is true That is true I think she needs some counseling And some mental observation And some evaluation And stuff like that I still You know I don't really want to judge Pretty than in any bad way Because You know what I mean I don't know what to say about Pretty Dan. I don't. I'm not a fan or I'm not a fan. I'm more time I hear her thing. Them. When I listen to her thing, them more time, because more time she talks some sense and more time she got outrageous. I know how people listen to people. Yes, I, I listen to Pretty Dan more time. I can. More time she talks some sense and more time I scroll past Rasta. One that wakes up every day wishing you were someone else. Unfortunately for you, you are already made. Um, one have to consider too, you know, you know what I mean? Pretty Dan is in a state where it must trouble her and puzzle her. I mean, nothing say nobody if you tease her with it and cuss her with it. However, she always cuss people as she please, but I don't know who start the problem. And you can't start problem with people who kind of 
trouble in them sense because everybody have them own a trouble so pretty that must have our own a troubles and you know, I'm in a business here, man. Me, me, me feel aware for her more time still. I don't know if she feel aware for herself, but she must do so. If she feel aware for herself, then I feel aware for she. I sorry for she. And I overstand with, with her outbursts and craziness at times because somebody where I got through stuff. You have some people, you're normal good, good people, and I got through stuff, and she have fear like a problem or a big problem. You know, how, you know what? You can never judge the next person's problem, yeah, man, because of them are experienced and got through what them are got through. I'm pretty than is a human being and me no know what you think. What me I go and listen to you later. You tune to the horny channel. Please to like and subscribe. I have another call, channel called The War in Jamrock. Run over there and subscribe to that too. However, unfinished. I would be mad too if I were you. I would not disrespect your followers because everyone is curious about someone like you, a freak of nature. You are a joke that keeps on giving and everyone likes a good laugh. You can respond all you like, but I will not give you the pleasure of another response. Um, I hope that um, Ninja Man hold that. And um, I know that pretty Dan, I have um, heard that she had responded already. Um, I don't think that Ninja Man should get in a to one fro battle with um, Pretty Dan because um, you know what I mean these nowadays people they're not no good and them no no respect for nobody and um, it's a two way thing still you know? respect is a two way thing but I think the elders them have authority still because they have seen Pretty Dan being outrageous for a period of quite a while and sometimes it's too much and um, maybe a person like me can't really talk because sometimes. In my field that I choose, I'm too much. So, Because you're not worth it. It will be time wasted. And finally, just remember one thing as you go through your miserable life. You are dormant. You are stagnant. You, my dear, will always be inconsequential. Just another blob taking up space in society. That must be daunting. This piece is based on a letter from Ninja Man to Empress Misha, a direct response to a so-called blogger written and reported by Jojo Mac. <sighs> I don't know what transpired after that. However, I really think that that was an exceptional letter from the Dan Gaga and the Gold Teeth Front Teeth Gun Pan Teeth Brush Teeth with Toothpaste Ninja Man. Um, don't like the the whole thing Bring, I don't know who started it and I don't know who's gonna finish it I don't like it I my personal views is I think that pretty Dan should go easy and stop trying to disrespect the veterans them who have done great things for our country and our culture yeah you haven't got the right and the authority to be loading up on so much generals and queens. You know what I mean? And maybe you do. Who knows? Please to subscribe, press the like button, and uh, cooperate with my channel and help it to grow. Thank you very much. Shalom Shunde. I are your horny pastor. <laughs> Style of your song, but but one line kind of funky. You say you are the UK dance album. Your explanation is needed, so please give it promptly. I may have about 16 bars for conky. The live sound sick, but the character of it. Please compare yourself to a different artist. Man, plan to your boss, you and all that. But you are claim a killing and you don't deserve it. Look how much artists they warning. You never was one. Artists ready this you kill our passion. And now you are the UK grown guy. General Mr. Cross and angry Miserable man we must call young Gaza We see him bring daggers here Then be a bitch I'm called Leda Ayara I could have mentioned like complex order I'm the first name the boss of him and baby mother A baga chat a baga chat a baga chat 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 A baga chat a baga chat a baga chat 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 A baga 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 chat 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 A baga chat a baga chat like share and subscribe to the horny channel and hit the notification bell or ig me at the horny church or the horny pastor music straight up